Hi, I'm Elizabeth, and today I want to show you how to make the leaf hopper stitch. For this demo, I will be using Shivji's Sami yarn. Let's take a look at the specs. And I will be using a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. So to begin, make a slip knot. The leaf hopper stitch is a multiple of 4 plus 3 for the base chain. So for this demo, I will be chaining 20. Now I have 20 chains. I need to add 3 more. Now it's a total of 23 chains. So to begin with the next row, into the fourth chain from the hook, that's one, two, three, and four, make a double crochet. I will be using the back reach of that chain. Make a double crochet into the next chain. And into the next chain. And all the way across the first row. Okay, I'm towards the end of the row. So this is the first row, nice and easy. We should have 21 double crochets and the chain three here will be counted as one. So to begin with the next row, chain three. This will be counted as our first double crochet. I am using the US standard. So that means I won't be making any stitch into the first stitch here, and then make a double crochet into the next stitch. Now we are ready to make our first leaf hopper stitch. So into the next stitch here, we will use this as our reference. We won't make any stitch into this next stitch. Instead, we will be making a stitch into the stitch on its right and the stitch on its left. So let's begin. Yarn over. Insert your hook into the right stitch of the next stitch. Into the front post, like this. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Make sure it's quite tall, almost the same height as the current row. And we'll do it once more. Yarn over, insert your hook into the post, yarn over and pull up a loop. 
now we have five loops on our hook yarn over and pull through the first four loops on the hook we didn't include this loop and now we have two loops on our hook as mentioned the next stitch we're not going to make any stitch on this one instead into the next one which is on the left we are going to do the next we are going to do the same way as we did here so yarn over insert your hook into the front post of that stitch yarn over and pull up a loop make sure it's a little bit higher and once more, yarn over, insert your hook into the same post, yarn over and pull up a loop. Now I've got six loops on my hook, yarn over and pull it through the first four loops on the hook. Now I have three loops on my hook, yarn over and pull it through the three loops on the hook so this is our first leaf hopper stitch to proceed make a double crochet on top of the next stitch so the next stitch is this one Okay, which is this stitch. As you can see, we only skip one stitch there, which is the one we didn't work any stitches. Make another double crochet into the next stitch. and into the next stitch and now we are ready to make our second leaf hopper stitch so remember this is our next stitch and we're going to make the first leg of the leaf hopper stitch into the right of that stitch which is this one and then the next leg will be on the left side of the next stitch, which is this one. So let's go ahead. So yarn over, insert your hook into the front post of that stitch. Yarn over and pull up a loop. And make sure it's a little bit higher. Yarn over. Insert your hook into the same post at the front and then yarn over and pull up a loop again. I've got five loops on my hook and now yarn over and pull it through the first four loops on the hook. Now I've got two loops on my hook. yarn over insert your hook into the left stitch of the next stitch so we are inserting our hook into the front post of that stitch yarn over and pull up a loop yarn over insert your hook into the same post yarn over and pull up a loop now I've got six loops on my hook. Yarn over and pull through four loops, leaving us with three loops on the hook. And now we can yarn over and pull it through all the loops on the hook. So this is our second leaf hopper stitch. So 
So now make a double crochet into the top of this stitch, which is this one there. From time to time, you need to check the back of your stitches. You want to make sure that you're only skipping one stitch. So this is the stitch that we have skipped the first time. And this is the stitch that we skipped the second time. So that stitch is the one we didn't make any stitches. Okay, let's proceed. One double crochet into the next stitch and into the next one. And now we are ready to make our next leaf hopper stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook into the front post of the stitch on the right of the next stitch. Yarn over and pull up a loop. And once more, so that's yarn over, insert your hook into the same post at the front, yarn over, pull up a loop. I've got five loops on my hook. And now yarn over and pull through four loops leaving me with two loops on the hook and remember we're not going to make any stitch on the on that next stitch instead we are going to make one on this stitch on the left of the next stitch so we're going to do the same so that's insert your hook into the front post yarn over and pull up a loop Make sure it's a little bit higher and then yarn over, insert your hook into the same post, yarn over and pull up a loop. I've got six loops on my hook and then yarn over and pull through four loops, leaving me with three loops on the hook. And now we can yarn over and pull it through the three loops on the hook. So we have made the third leaf hopper stitch. And we are going to do that all the way across. Okay, I'm going to make the last leaf hopper stitch. So I'm going to make one double crochet on top of this stitch here.
and don't forget to make one double crochet on top of the three chains at the beginning of the row in previous row and make sure you take two loops so now this is the second row of the leaf hopper stitch as you can see you end up with two double crochets at the very end and two double crochet at the very start so before we continue the leaf hopper stitch is an offset stitch which means the next instance of the leaf hopper stitch will not be aligned to the previous leaf hopper stitch as you can see here so this the second instance will be between the two leaf hopper stitch from previous instance as you can see here so let's do that so to begin the third row chain three and turn this will be counted as our first double crochet so we don't need to make a stitch into the first stitch instead make a double crochet into the next stitch into the next stitch and all the way across we should still have 21 double crochet at the end of the row So I'm towards the end of the row. Make sure to make a double crochet into the top of the three chains at the beginning of the previous row. To begin the fourth row, chain three. This will be counted as our first double crochet and then turn. We don't need to make any stitches into the first stitch and then make a double crochet into the next stitch. Into the next stitch. And into the next stitch. Now we are ready to make our offset leaf hover stitch. So let's yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch on the right side of the next stitch, into the front post, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over, insert your hook, into the same post, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through four loops on the hook. So we're not going to make any stitches into the next stitch, instead into the left side of that stitch. We are going to do the same, so yarn over, insert your hook, into the front post of the stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over, insert your hook into the same post, yarn over and pull up a loop, and then yarn over and pull it through the four loops, the first four loops, and then yarn over and pull it through the three loops on the hook. 
as you can see here our first leaf hover stitch is now offset with the two leaf hover stitches from previous instance of the stitch and then we can continue with our next three double crochet as usual which is the first double crochet will be on top of this stitch so it double crochet into the next stitch and into the next and you want to check that you only skipped one stitch at the back and we are now ready to make our next leaf hopper stitch Then make a double crochet into the next stitch and into the next two stitches. So we have made our second offset leaf hopper stitch. Continue this way all the way across. Make sure you are making your first double crochet after the leaf hopper stitch on top of this stitch where you have made the last leg of the leaf hopper stitch. This will ensure that your stitches, this will ensure that the stitch count are still precise. So there's a three double crochets there and one double crochet to the top chain at the beginning of the row at the beginning of the stitch of the previous row so as you can see we have made four double crochet into the very last end that means we should also have four double crochet into the very first uh, at the beginning and there you are this is the leaf hopper stitch and to begin into the next row so this is the end of the repeat so that's one two three four on the fifth row you will make a row of double crochets again make sure 
the total count is the same count at the beginning of the first row. So for this instance, we have made, we have made 21 double crochets. So on the next row, you should have 21 double crochets as well. So the pattern is still the same and that will make you, that will give you a straight edges into your pattern. And then you are going to repeat two, three, and four all over again. So thank you for watching and I hope you learned something and I'll see you again next time.